Good morning everybody, welcome back to TGE TV. So the long awaited third episode of burnouts, biceps and burgers is here. It's arrived. We are off to Virgin Active from Mayfair for a little workout. Today on the agenda is back workout. I've been listening to the feedback and a lot of you guys wanted back. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a brutal little workout. You're all welcome to give it a go and let me know what you think. And more importantly, really, I am in the R8 V10 Plus you may have seen on my Instagram and Twitter recently. More about the car later on and I'll probably do a separate video on the car as well. What I think of it, would I buy one and all the rest of it. But for now, tune in because it's gym time soon. Hooey! So today's workout is going to be much in the same format as the other ones. We're going to do a 6-12-25 workout and that means pain and that means gains. Equally as importantly, crep check. Take it with me to the cemetery. MMF, that's my security. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is six reps of lat pull down. So a lot of you will be familiar with this exercise already. It's the one where you sit down, you put it down. I'll show you. So we're going to be doing six reps of these, nice and controlled. Really pinch those lats, bring your elbows down to your side. Extend at the top of the rep and pinch at the bottom of the rep. That's your six reps done. With lat pull down, it's important to really think about what you're training because a lot of people will swing around on it, but you really want to think about pulling down and engaging your lats, okay? So you want to be pinching and bring your elbows down to your side when you're doing the rep. A lot of people don't get the most out of lat pull down because of that, but yeah, that is really a case of connecting your mind with your muscle. I know that sounds like emotional and weird, but really think about your training and it will help. Exercise two, this follows on straight from lat pull down. You have 10 seconds rest and then you go into this. This is the second exercise. 12 reps. Explode on the way down, control on the way up. So once you're done with 12 reps of those, you want to go into 25 of these ones. Important to have a 10 second rest between them all though. So again, you'll notice I'm on one piece of equipment, doesn't take up any space at all. Ideal for a busy gym, so 25 of these, go. And you can go slightly quicker with these ones. What's important about those ones, at the top of the rep, imagine someone's got their finger between your shoulder blades and you're really pinching them together, okay? It's, it's hard to see from here, but really pinch your shoulder blades together and get that contraction with the muscle. Don't worry about tempo as much on these ones, you can go slightly quicker through them. But again, always concentrate on the muscle you're working and you'll work out the muscle a lot better. Sounds odd, but try it, think about your training. It does work well. We want to be doing three to five sets of that. You should be able to get that done in about 25 minutes, half an hour. It's ideal for busy gyms and also when you don't have much time to train. I will do a workout like that about once a week. It's decent. You're in agony the next day. It gets your heart rate up. Between each set, sorry, I should have mentioned this, you want to be having about a 90 second, two minute rest. Absolute minimum between them. Don't go back into it too soon because you will just burn yourself out and there'll be no point. Pay attention, this is how you spec a 488. This carbon bit, this essential. Don't get a 488 unless you've got that. These, again, if you don't have that, I don't want to see it. If you've got the flag, oh yeah, flag. The most important bit of any Ferrari, that silly flag. And, oh no, it doesn't have the carbon fog light. Okay, let's move on. So that was your back workout, you're all done now, and no video of this nature would be complete without obviously going to get a burger. Also some burnouts as well, but um, yeah, I don't know about those. My decent reps or something. Ah, what are you doing? Yeah, so we're off to a place called Muse of Mayfair. I've heard rumors there's a silly truffle burger there. So yeah, we're gonna go and check it out. Me and Cal, we're gonna go and stuff our faces. Oh, Orange Hurricane, it's very nice. Oh, it's HRN's one. Burger talk soon come. So 
as you may have gathered by now and you've seen in other shots, I'm in the RA V10 Plus Coupe. This was from West London Audi. Great bunch, go and check them out. Initial impressions, I mean, I've only had it a day. I've had a ticket down to so Farmhouse the other day, took it down some country roads. Really kind of muddy, wet, windy country roads. And um, sounds basically exactly the same as a Hurricane. As quick as a Hurricane, but things inside, like the infotainment, all that kind of stuff, it works better, it's better laid out, feels better put together. Don't know why I'm trolling Hurricanes now. They're really good. Grip whenever you want it. It's just so usable. Like you could probably use this absolutely every day and it'd be fine. So far, so good. Good impressions of the car. The only thing I'm not so sure about is the big bugbear for many people. When you're spending this kind of money on something with this kind of performance, do you want an Audi badge or do you want kind of a willy waving badge like Lamborghini? At the moment, there's about 50K in it between this and an equivalent Hurricane. And some people quite like the cool vibe of these. I think it looks really, really nice, but I don't know if it's flashy enough for me. If I can say that. It's not quite aggressive enough, maybe. But the car is absolutely amazing. Like, oh, I, I love it. I think it's brilliant. If I did the journey with the F12 yesterday with all those wet, windy roads, I would have binned it into a hedge, no doubt. Up a tree, in a hedge, on his roof, you name it. But this thing just, just dealt with it all. Quattro is just absolutely amazing in it. And for the money, I think you could probably pick up one of these for about 115K, maybe. I mean, for the kind of performance and how much car you're getting, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I've waffled a lot. But anyway, back to burgers. Absolutely one. Multitasking, Jesus Christ, serving really. and cooking it. Right, food has arrived. So what we have here is an eight ounce burger with truffle mayo, uh, truffle brie, charcoal bun. Charcoal bun, I don't, that, that's what it is. I don't know what a charcoal bun is, but it's dark anyway. Uh, and we also have truffle fries as well. And there's also fresh truffle in there. So basically, as you can tell, the theme is truffle. It's not on the menu here yet, but it's probably gonna be on the menu in the next couple of weeks. So come check it out, because it looks bloody amazing. <laughs> So the food has disappeared. Me and Cal have both finished our plates. This is a good sign. As with previous episodes of burgers, burnouts, and biceps, or whatever order it's in, I'm gonna do a rating. So today's rating, drum roll. I would give this a solid nine out of 10. Absolutely yeah, banging. I, I uh, agree with that. Cal agrees with that, so there we go. That's cemented, the rating is there. Nine out of 10, really, really good. So this, this is Muse of Mayfair. Come down here, check it out, and if you do put it on Instagram, because obviously you take a photo of your food, because that's what everyone does, tag me in it, I want to see you eating them. Yeah, I would really recommend it, to be fair, so. Yeah, vibes. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get in the R8, go home and sleep in a little food coma for a bit. Thanks for watching, subscribe, thumbs up, all that, blah, blah, blah. See you later.